Welcome to IT How To, my name is Amit. Today I'm going to be showing you LXD running LXD containers and QEMU virtual machines. So after the intro, I'll get back to you. See you soon. Welcome back. So recently I've acquired a new machine. It's a B-Link GTR5. And I'll quickly show you its specifications. So I've actually got VS Code open on my Mac Mini M1. And I've basically set up an SSH connection to my new machine, which is the B-Link GTR5. And that's actually running Ubuntu 22.04 desktop. So the new machine is rocking an AMD Ryzen 9 5900HX processor with 64 gig DDR RAM and it also comes pre-installed with a 2 terabyte NVMe hard disk. So recently what I've also been learning is I've been looking at learning Python. So I've been using Python to write some simple scripts to, in to integrate with my new LXC lab that I'm currently working on. I also have these, I've also had these new scripts on GitHub, so I can show you my recent commits that I've been putting in GitHub as well, and I'll put a link to my GitHub repository in the description box below. So the first thing I'm going to do is basically launch this lab menu script which I wrote in Python. So I'm going to basically run that. And this is the simple little menu. So we've got various options here. So the first one is do if I wanted to upgrade the operating system. Um, I won't go ahead and do that. I've also basically put in, in put in NeoFetch in option two. So I've put in option two and it's going to basically bring up the system information that I showed you earlier. Then it's press any key to continue. The next thing I can show you system usage using either bash top on option three or glances on option four. So I'll go ahead and show you both very, very quickly. So Bashtop is loaded, you can see it, and it's basically showing information on the top right in relation to the CPU, showing information in the middle towards the left in relation to memory and hard disk space. And on the right hand side, you can see the processes that are running on the system. So I'm going to go ahead and quit out of that and go back to option four, which is show system information running glances. So that's Glances and it shows similar information and what I do like about Glances is on the bottom left it actually shows the temperature of the actual hardware as well that's running. So I'm going to go ahead and quit out of that then show you the rest of the work that I've been doing. So as with previous videos, I do like using LXD, which sits on top of um, LXD system container technology, and it also can launch QEMU virtual machines as well. So on this new installation of Ubuntu on, on that B-Link PC or mini PC, I, I, will, I basically did a fresh install of Ubuntu desktop and it just did a simple install of LXD and, and it was, it did an LXD in it and that was it. It was simply as easy as that. So if you want me to create a video on how to do that, I'm more than happy to do so. And I'll probably go through that process in a virtual machine uh, running Ubuntu 22 desktop. But going back to this, so what I will do is I'll show you the current virtual lab. So it's empty. So what I'm going to do is I've got a Python script to spin up the sample lab. So in its, at this moment in time, I'm quite new to Python. So the code itself is, I'll be honest, it's going to require a lot of optimization, but this is where I'm at. So 
I've got a few functions here to generate the username to get the user input to display the lab status here. I've also got a big function here which is to actually create their lab and yeah there, there is a lot of cut and paste code in there so I'm going to go and clean that up in a later commit. So that's so when I run the menu it will actually launch that Python script. Now that's actually using subprocess to actually launch the script externally so what I'm going to do is when I work on developing my Python further I will probably end up writing it as a a module that can be called into this menu script so that that's something i will we'll be working on going forward so so what i would do is hit option six and it will go ahead and spin up um, a few containers and a few virtual machines um, as part of this process it would it will basically ask you do you want to destroy any existing lab because because basically when i spin up this temporary lab it's going to destroy any existing virtual machine and containers that's that's how i've written it so i'm gonna go ahead and type yes to that and we've got a second confirmation in red text so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and it hasn't detected any running instances of virtual machines or containers so it's going to go ahead and just contain create the rocky linux 8 containers of virtual machines and the ubuntu server containers and virtual machines so we're just going to wait for that to finish i've just remembered i probably need to put my phone on silent so let me go ahead and do that now i apologize okay so i'm just waiting for this to finish let me see if i can bring up a shell terminal running glances so you can see the system usage while it's going ahead and spinning those resources up so i actually want to see how that looks in bash top as well so let me do that so we wait for bash top to load bash top is i like bash top it's quite pretty and it doesn't look like it's yeah it doesn't look like it's really heavily utilized at all not, not surprising so I minimise that window and go back to VS Code. And it's still actually creating the resources. So we'll let that finish. Yeah, so while it's creating the resources, I actually did put in some basically sleep 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 entries so that it doesn't overload the hardware when it's creating the resources. So for the containers, I put in five second delay, and for the virtual machines, I put in a ten second delay before creating the next virtual machine. And okay, so the lab has now been created, so you can now see both the containers and the virtual machines. What I will do is I'm going to exit the menu and we'll probably take a look at one of the virtual machines. So I'm actually a big fan of Rocky Linux, which is in a nutshell, a, a mostly binary compatible version of Red Hat Linux. I used to work with Red Hat Linux throughout most of my career in my previous jobs. And um, CentOS used to be the distribution of choice to go to that was based on Red Hat Linux but that has now changed. Rocky Linux has taken over CentOS for reasons I won't go into in this particular video. So I do like Rocky Linux. So what I will do is I'm going to go take a closer look at this particular VM which is Rocky Linux 8. So let me do LXE info. Rocky VM2 and there you can see more information about that virtual machine so it tells you it's actually a type virtual machine the architecture information in relation to the CPU and disk and networking there let me see if I can bring up the same information for a container as well so let me which is basically the same command 
um, but I'm choosing the container instance instead of the virtual machine instance. So let me clear the screen, then run that command. And this is the actual container. So yeah, it's basically saying it's a container type. That's the architecture. And this is the resource information. I will now open up a bash shell on the VM. So let's do that. So it's Alexi exec Rocky VM2 bash. There we go, we're now inside that VM. And we can take a look at its information. So it's showing what it is. I can even do a DNF update to update that particular OS on that container if I wanted to. So it's going to go ahead and check the relevant software repositories and it's detected there's no updates which is good and I'm going to exit out of that. Now I'm going to go back and launch my menu application again and I'm going to go for option 7 which is destroy lab so let me do that. As it's a destructive command it's going to give me another confirmation in red text so let's go ahead and type yes and it's going to ask me to confirm it again so type yes and it's now go ahead and deleting each of those instances and you can see in real time while it's doing that So the lab has now been deleted. I'm going to hit any key to continue. And so that's about it. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for getting to the end of this video. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel should you wish to see further videos from myself. And do not forget to like the video if you like the video as well. And also please feel free to reach out to me in the comments and I'll do my very best to respond to yourselves as quickly as possible. And thank you very much and hope you have a nice day.